This video is brought to you by ThePuzzler.com. It is no secret that MIT is one of the best colleges in modern times. This algebra problem appeared in the 1869 MIT entrance exam. Let's take a stab at the problem. The problem from the exam is to reduce the fraction to its lowest terms. The fraction is x to the power of 6 plus a squared times x cubed times y, all divided by x to the power of 6 minus a to the power of 4 times y squared. Pause the video for more time to try this problem on your own. Did you solve it? Here is a complete explanation of how to solve this problem using factoring tricks. To solve this problem, it's best that we know the difference of squares formula, which states that a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. This formula basically states that we can factor the difference of two squares as a sum and difference of the numbers being squared. Here's a proof. We have to prove a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. Well, a minus b times a plus b is equal to a squared plus ab minus ab plus b squared. The ab terms cancel out, so we're just left with a squared minus b squared. That proves our original assumption. a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b. How can we use this formula in this question? Well, we have to notice that the denominator is actually a difference of two perfect squares. Factoring the denominator, we get that x to the power of 6 minus a to the power of 4 times y squared is equal to x cubed squared minus a squared y squared. Using the formula that we just learned about for the difference of squares, we get x cubed minus a squared times y times x cubed plus a squared times y. Now we can also factor the numerator by pulling out the x cubed term from both of the terms. We then get x cubed times x cubed plus a squared times y. Our fraction now becomes x cubed times x cubed plus a squared times y. And on the bottom we have x cubed minus a squared times y times x cubed plus a squared times y. We notice that two of these terms are the same so that they cancel out, namely x cubed plus a squared times y. This cannot be factored further. So our final answer is x cubed divided by x cubed minus a squared times y. We just solved an MIT entrance exam problem. This 150 plus year old problem shows how much of the math that we learned today was useful even in the past. Be sure to comment down below as to whether or not you were able to solve this problem and secure a spot at MIT. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe so you can get notifications for my future videos and be sure to hit that like button. See you in the next video.